I'm Alex Paulton. and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Talking Time Pieces where we talk about watch collecting and horology. I recently got a bunch of loaners in from Fortis and uh, we're going to look at the first one in the box today and that is the uh, Nova Knot. It is a beautiful piece and a very, very tool watch. Let's turn the camera around and take a look at this sharp piece. So here's the Nova Knot N42, a very sharp tool watch. It really screams, I am a tool watch, especially when you compare it to say, for example, other tool watches like the um, Breitling Navitimer, right? You know, the Navitimer is a very tool watch as well, but um, compared to the Fortis, it seems downright, um, elegant and uh, <laughs> not as rugged, although this is a very rugged piece. The other interesting thing is, is that <clears throat> this is a Valju 7750 base, and uh, there may be a 7750 somewhere in the ancestral heritage of this piece, but the VEC 17 movement from Fortis is a column wheel chronograph that they developed uh, themselves. This is the, uh, they call this color cobalt blue on the block bracelet and it is a uh, bi-directional very crisp feeling timing bezel and although the uh, date windows are relatively small they're very legible. The um, overall look is that this is a very competent device with which to measure time. Now, um, let's zoom out a little bit more. The bracelet is actually very nice, especially considering um, it's a tool watch. But then again, for 5,000 uh, euros, you know, a little over $5,000, it better have some aesthetics and uh, a premium feel to it. I do like the uh, way the lugs are shaped so that way the bracelet, um, as it turns, it's basically shrouded by the lugs at all the angles, so it doesn't look odd on the wrist. Um, it is a screw down uh, signed crown, and uh, the pusher feel is very uh, clean and positive. Illuminated pip on the uh, second hand, and uh, just standard operation, but a very clean presentation. They call this the block bracelet, as I was saying. It is a nice supple bracelet, screwed lugs. You know, they're really emphasizing the tool aspect of it. This watch isn't going to come apart on you any time soon. The uh, bracelet is milled very nicely done. It's a really solid feeling and it's got a uh, micro adjustment. It's not locking micro adjustment, but it's a, it's still very, very, very um, finely defined. You probably got about a millimeter click with each uh, click, maybe even less than a millimeter click on that. But all in all, it gives you a lot of flexibility with the piece, and it doesn't look bad on the backside, which some extensions tend to. So all in all, it is a beautiful piece. It has a smoked, it's uh, actually a shaded, um, they call it smoked, a tinted display back and it is a column wheel they prominently let you see that column wheel there and uh, and it is a good looking piece it really does give off a premium tool watch feel definitely not a luxury piece uh, it really does um, scream though competence and ability all in all a great looking sharp piece let's throw it on the wrist for a second wristwatch check wearing my uh, 126610 uh, Rolex, uh, the Ceramic 41 sub. I really do like this piece. This also screams competence, um, but I wouldn't take it anywhere. It would get damaged. <laughs> Putting this on the wrist. It sits very well on my 8.5 inch wrist. It really does look good and uh, has a very good wrist presence. All right, let's uh, turn the camera around and close out the episode. 
So that was the Novanaut, a really sharp tool watch with uh, a great personality, actually. It comes across very rugged and capable. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. It does help the channel a great deal. Thank you.